it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Hip hop superstar and Hot Boys member Juvenile gives his thoughts and reactions to Jay Z and the NFL and Roger Goodell shading Lil Wayne for the halftime performance. Now, as we all know, the halftime performance for the upcoming Super Bowl went to Kendrick Lamar. The problem is it's in New Orleans, and why not give it to Wheezy F Baby? He's got more hits, he's got better songs, he's got the longevity, he's got more collaborations. The show would be better with Lil Wayne performing at the halftime show especially in new orleans so i'm in agreement with everybody else they gotta fix this kendrick lamar we can get him or some other time you know i've already told you guys how i feel about kendrick lamar the dude is overrated to me and for him to fill in for wheezy so to say at this super bowl and, and we don't want to see it not like us Anyway, let's take a look at this clip from Hot Boys member, Lil Wayne's Hot Boys member, Juvenile, as he gives his reactions to Jay-Z, the NFL, and Roger Goodell shading Lil Wayne and using New Orleans. Let's take a look at this clip. So everybody want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. Look, I'm mad about the situation just like y'all, man, but, you know, my hatred is toward the NFL. You know, not really, not really the people that booked the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired the motherfuckers that booked the halftime show. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put artists on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt. Uh, and uh, the list goes on. Not too many. Not too many. You know, I feel like every time y'all come here, y'all should have somebody from our city on this shit. But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. I don't see how the fuck y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. Somebody that has a whole bunch of fucking hits and somebody that really deserves it and somebody that can bring out multiple artists of all genres. Think about it. So this goes to you, Roger Goodell. You need to get it right, man. You coming in our city, sucking up our cultures and making up all this money and putting all this bread in your pocket, putting all this bread in other people's pockets and walk and leaving us dry, hanging us dry. You gotta stop. All right, Nation, there you have it. Comments from Juvenile. Hey, I agree with everything Juvie says here, 100%. They played your boy Lil Wayne, and it's all over, allegedly, allegedly, the issues between Jay-Z and the issues between Birdman. They should have worked that out. They could have made this deal happen. Why is there an issue? Who knows? I think it's an ego thing. Birdman has said plenty of times he thinks that his son Lil Wayne, his alleged son Lil Wayne is... Uh, uh, better than Jay-Z. Jay-Z fires shots back at them. It's this whole bravado thing that these two go through. So, hey, all of this happens and we getting, uh, as, as customers and as fans, we're getting robbed of Lil Wayne at the Super Bowl, which is a tragedy. Nation, what do you think about Juvenile's comments? Do you want to see Lil Wayne as the halftime performer at the Super Bowl? Uh, how do you feel about Kendrick Lamar performing there? Do you think Jay-Z shaded Lil Wayne because of his issues with Birdman Nation? Let me know in the comment section down down below make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out O'Shea and I've been kicking it strong for a minute now O'Shea doesn't drink he doesn't smoke O'Shea is a professional model attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK okay don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea